So guys, we're here today. We've got brand new wheels from buytruckwheels.com here. They are Alcoa's and brand new Bridgestone giant super single daddies going on the front of Brutus over there. We're about to pull it up here. We're getting everything loaded because we're going to Tennessee for the Rocky Top Diesel shootout this weekend in Crossville. And then the following weekend in Crossville, also we have a semi-casual truck show. We'll be hanging out with all our friends. Lots of stuff happening. But today we're getting these mounted on the truck. We're loading up the pulling truck, which you guys are going to see in a second. We got the fenders put on there. We're putting a different bumper on it. Lots of stuff happening. Let's get these things mounted and see how they look on the truck. So we got two tires mounted, one on. It looks great. We're going to mount this one on. But before we do that, guys, the giveaway is still going on at BruceWhistleShop.com. We got some brand new shirts, left lane gang with the cab over on it. And Ryan is wearing one too. You guys are really going to like it. DOT who? So Ryan doesn't know who DOT is, but he's wearing Department it. Department Transportation. Oh, you did your research. Okay. We got halfway here today. Everybody's been wanting to see you guest appearance on the channel. Really? Why? I'm all washed up, worn out. No oh, good, wait, no wait. more. Wait, hang on. Oh, yeah, it's hard out here. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> all right, we're going to get this tire put on, guys, and we're going to start loading stuff up. We'll show you what the pulling truck looks like with this fender span black. It looks really good. Wheel that boy. Whip it. The gooch on me. <laughs> that truck stopped blue. There. Uh, will you grab me like a nice clean one so I can yeah, clean the. I don't want to scratch these rims. These are super ultra mega polished Arcoa, sir. These wheels are like another 120 bucks a piece just for the polish job that comes from the factory. Dang. Hey. Alright. Oh. All right, we're all bolted up. Nick's getting the hub covers put on this side, but over here, this thing looks freaking sexy. We had Lake go through and just kind of did a quick clean on it since the logging video. Uh, we got to do a full detail for the semi-casual truck show coming up Ooh. next weekend in Crossville. You can check them out on Facebook, semi-casual show. Go follow those guys if you are not already here on YouTube. I'll put a link down below to their channel. Uh, this weekend we're going to Rocky Top Diesel Shootout. If you guys are there, come by and see us. We'll have all of our merch with us at both events. This thing's looking sick. We got a tractor running in the background that I sold to a fellow in Tennessee. We got to bring it with us. We're going to put that on the trailer right quick. We're going to load up the tires and wheels we're taking off front of this. We're going to try to sell them at the truck show because we, we really don't need them. We don't have any trucks that use that size tire. They're really big. And uh, after that, we're going to load up Fred's little wheelchair. I don't think anyone knows about that. Fred Rethwich is tracked wheelchair. So. Let me get this thing backed up to the loading dock here. Start loading some stuff up. Try to go up the step, but it will. Yeah, drive it up that. <laughs> It'll do the gorgeous. No, no, go up there. Fast. I am trying to. <laughs> <laughs> Told you to do it, Wheelie. Really. <laughs> got Wheelie really bars on the back, though. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> I'm laying it back. Hold on. <laughs> God. Let's go load up before we tear it up. Oh, dude, you were cranking a wheelie. <laughs> it is kind of cool. You're on your back wheels. All right, 
right, so we pulled the big steel 22 inch bumper off the front of the truck. We're putting this 20 to 20 inch bumper from 12 gauge customs on the front. You guys will be mad. We robbed it off a blue collar. So we just wanted to get something that wasn't ugly like that bumper. It's been too. So we'll get a new bumper for blue collar one of these days. We're going to be upgrading it very soon. But for now, let's get this thing installed on here. Then we can get it loaded yep. up. So Nick got the bumper all installed. We had to elongate some of the holes to make it fit, but it's on there. Yeah, I think it looks good. I kind of start to like it a little bit better. The only thing I don't like is this big gap right here from these fenders. So I think 12 gauge just came out with another bumper that fixes that. We'll have to check it out. Maybe there'll be some on the truck show, but I'm gonna flip it out, Nick. Tell me if everything clears. All right. Nope, 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 nope. What's hitting? Caught right here again. Yeah. And it can't slide any anymore either. How bad's it hitting? I had crinkled it right there. Oh, it just did that just now? Yep. Oh, dang. I mean, I can try loosening it up, seeing if we can't scoot it in a little bit well, more. Well, we may not really even need to use it anymore. I mean, so here's the plans of this truck, guys. We're going to be trying to make it through this till winter time. And we're gonna be putting a built 6NZ cat in this thing, different clutch, because this clutch is about fried. It barely goes in the gear now. Bigger rear ends in it, and painting the truck blue to match the rest of the truck, so. And I talked to four states about getting a new, completely brand new hood, because this one's got Bondo like everywhere. And I'm not a huge fin, I'm not a huge fender of these fans. I'm not a huge fan of these fenders that are on the front. I mean, they're nice. Don't get me wrong, Talladega makes an awesome product. I just don't know if I like that big, huge lip. I'd rather lower the truck some down on the springs and put regular size fenders on it. So that little bit, you know, it's whatever, but it should unload on, you know, drive on and off the truck trailers a lot better now too. So uh, let's go load it up. That's awesome. You want me to put this, the back up a little bit? You look like you're leaning back in the car. How's that? I think you should go uh, chase Brian down. Whenever you get out there to the, the uh, property and concrete, try not to turn real sharp like that. Don't worry about it. Alright, see you later. Have fun. Alright, let's get this track around.
guys, we bought this tractor a while back. We bought a little cab Kubota. I think we got that a little bit on camera, probably four or five months ago. This guy found us through YouTube. If you ever see, ever see any tractors you're interested in buying, just check us out at buyatractor.com. watches this on YouTube because we have a pulling tractor and he made us a little homemade garage art pulling tractor and sled look. Oh look at the spring underneath here. Oh that's cool. That's freaking sick. I love it. I love it when you guys send me stuff like this too. Like we've got little all kinds of little collectibles. We should show we should show off our collection sometime. Oh yeah. Alright. Back up here at the semi-casual shop in Crossville, Tennessee. They're a brand new chrome shop. We'll do a quick little walk through the chrome shop. It's not 100% open and ready, but we're gonna get business expense washed up, take it up to the drag strip. We're gonna drive it there. Oh. Now that it's got all the air ride on it and stuff like that, and it's like it's supposed to be. It should be a fun one. Dude, little that's gonna be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. We're not gonna drag it down the interstate. We're gonna drive the back roads. But Still. It's only like a five, minute, five mile rip. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing legal beagle. And I think we're gonna make it a street truck. Just a fun street truck. Go sled pull it whenever on a weekend or something. But I think limiting this truck to only doing sled pulls is not doing it justice. Especially with the new fenders on the back. The Talladega. Those things look sick. So shout out Tommy and Brian as always. I know you guys seen us make some videos of four states and you thought we weren't friends with semi casual anymore. These are our best friends. And uh, we're here. We're gonna clean this boy up. We're gonna be doing some work on Brutus here also. Let's get the same washed up. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> it is slick. Getting dizzy. Oh wow. See, your other one wouldn't do that, would it? It's like a zero turn lawnmower. Now I got video evidence to show your dad. <laughs> Did you guys know Semi Casual has a chrome shop right here on I forty in Tennessee? Check, check that. Oh. They're not open for business yet, but they will officially be open for business at the Semi-Casual Truck Show next weekend, the 4th and 5th, right here in Crossville, Tennessee, guys. I'll put all the info to their truck show down in the description. Check it out. Make sure you're here. I'll be here selling merch, Semi-Casual, Chrome Shop. It'll just be an awesome weekend, guys. We're going to have the Trader Taxi, Brutus, and Business Expense just parked out front. But let's give you a sneak peek of their showroom right quick. So if this is a, oh, I don't even know, it's like a fantasy factory in here, guys. Look at a bunch of Firewire LEDs, 12 gauge customs parts everywhere. Uh, PDI, you know, those are our guys, our intakes, exhaust manifolds, shoot. That looks like it's for a Detroit or a cat right there. Hogebilt fenders, factory Peterbilt parts. Dude, this stuff looks sick in the Trader Taxi, like that. All these, oh, yeah. all this stuff's like billet too. Dude, that's what we need right there for around the shifter. Oh yeah. That looks sick. Pedals, all kinds of cool stuff. Trucks products, those are our freaking guys. Dynaflex stacks, you guys are wondering about stacks. We're putting on the Brutus, the new semi. We're putting some Dynaflex monster stacks on it. We haven't decided what style we want to go with. We're going to be getting them from here at Semi Casual. We're doing the install right here, working with Dynaflex Semi Casual conjoined. It's going to be awesome, but look at all the these are just a few examples of products that Semi Casual is going to have here. Diesel Life, Hope Build, all kinds of cool stuff. PVI, Lifetime Nut Covers, SH Tube. Those are our freaking guys. We got to get a shifter in the truck very soon. But for now, we've got the oh, Iowa Customs parts. We got some Iowa Custom parts on our the Trader Taxi too, like the sit so low seat brackets. All kinds of cool stuff. So. Business expense is all washed up. We're gonna go drive it to the fuel station, put some diesel in it, and drive the track. <laughs> this thing still has Jake brakes on it too. Oh, that's gonna be sweet. Whatever rip. <laughs> all right, let's go.
Well, guys, that was a fun trip. <laughs> Pretty crazy. This thing is extremely uncontrollable. Like, you either, like, I mean, like, this much on the throttle, it's like porn smoke. <laughs> See, so you gotta, like, feather it because the turbo is so big. But it was like, it was so hard holding back, not wanting to just floor it and see how fast it'd go, but we don't need to be doing that out on the highway. <laughs> For now, we're gonna go get lunch. We're gonna go back to shop, wash Brutus up, and start tinkering with that. Let's go. Yeah. Well, guys, I just spent the last hour cleaning this thing. It is complete. Just kidding. <laughs> Ryan spent the last hour cleaning Brutus. It's cleaned up. We've been talking to the guys here at Semi Casual. We're working with our friends at Dynaflex. We're putting a set of eight inch curved top stacks on this boy which includes moving the dpf box forward all kinds of stuff we're gonna have to do uh but we'll be doing that in the following video for now we're gonna head up to the drag strip and go hang out with some fans and all kinds of cool people well guys what wasn't going to be a full video is now turned into a full video because the truck behind me you see here was drag racing and it caught on fire and there's nothing left of it i'm gonna roll some footage of this thing racing earlier in the day here at rocky top diesel shootout and then I'll show you how it ended up and then later in the video you're gonna see where Another car hit the wall and caught on fire on my good friend Rod. Thankfully, he got out safe. And there's just some crazy turn of events here all weekend here at Rocky Top Beach. So this was Pierce Diesel's, if I guess, a 6.4 power, no, I'm sorry. Six liter powered, maybe even a 7.3. I think it's a six liter, or no, yeah, 7.3 powered uh, four wheel drive race truck. And you guys can see it caught on fire. There really isn't much left to it, guys. It's, it's really sad because these guys put all their you know, I've been here. I've had drag trucks and pulling trucks and toys. And, man, to see something like this happen just is, makes you want to cry. And this is a Pro Street truck, too, guys. Look, there's, like, a few things salvageable out of here. I mean, maybe the transfer case. Honestly, that's all that looks like they might be able to save. Custom, like, 9-inch front axle. I mean, there is so much time in this thing. Custom hubs, like there's everything on this thing is custom. The engine broke in half because it got so hot, it looks like. Or maybe it just blew up. The turbo melted. It's just like, look at the, look at the engine just kind of hanging apart in there. It's nuts. Nothing left of it. There's pistons hanging down there. Carbon fiber seat that was, you know, was there. I cannot believe this guy fell right out of here without getting burnt or anything. I just talked to him at the end of the drag strip where Rod's car was burning and was burning. And there was fiberglass bedsides here. This thing had fiberglass door. It's had a whole fiberglass front clip and it's all just gone absolutely turn of crazy turn of events here at rocky top diesel shootout 2023 at crossville tennessee it's been a lot of good racing a lot of fast trucks here and fast diesel cars and to see this is just so unfortunate let's go check on rod i'm gonna roll the footage from his car it's just, it's vertical because i wasn't planning on making a youtube video out of this just wanted to show him his car going fast and the tire shook really hard and really bad and he got into the wall 
Thankfully that car had a fire suppression system on it. So I'm gonna roll the footage now and then we're gonna walk down to the end of the track and see if the tow truck's made it here. Yet. Well, folks, drag racing here at Rocky Top Diesel Shootout is going to be coming to an end very soon. They got like 10 or 12 trucks to run. We're not going to hang around. They're still cleaning the track. Our uh, sympathy goes out to Rod in his wrecked race car that caught on fire. I love Rod like a brother. I've known him a long time. He's just an awesome dude. And hope everything comes together for him. If um, anything pops up for anybody, a way to help him, I'll definitely let you guys know. But uh, wish him luck in fixing his car. We're glad that he is safe at the end of the day. For now, we're going to hop in Business Expense. We we're going to run it down the drag strip today, but I don't think we're going to ask to do that because of all the, the two accidents that have happened. Thankfully, both drivers are safe, but just don't want to chance it, you know? trying to have fun with old business expense one day we're gonna get this thing figured out where it's a burnout monster for me i have no idea what i'm doing so you guys can't tell me i don't know what i'm doing because i know i don't know what i'm doing when it comes to this but i'm figuring it out um the clutch is pretty much burnt in this thing there's no like free travel in it and i can't adjust free travel into it and the clutch brake you can't even get that brake to work because it's so worn out so i've got a custom triple disc clutch ordered for this thing uh, since we're kind of go, trying to go like the street route, I don't want to go like a full slipper because you can't really drive that on the street. And we've got to convert this thing to a 70 pin like sooner rather than later because it's just, 40 pin is just like so unstreetable, it's not even funny. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's been a week since we posted, but I just wanted to gather a bunch of content from all over the place. I hope you enjoyed it all. Pray for our friends with their burnt down uh, drag truck and rod with his car hopefully gets that thing fixed up and we'll be seeing you guys in the next episode go to brucewilsonshop.com it's getting down to the last few days getting to win our mini excavator grab you some merch hats t-shirts all that good stuff and check out those brand new t-shirts dot who and left lane gang with the cab over on it guys we'll be seeing you in the next video peace